Hey draw, welcome to Horsehead Bookends. It is Friday, so for today we are going to do a quick playthrough and review of On Mars by Vita Lacerda, put out by Eagle Griffin Games. Now, On Mars is a one to four player worker placement game where you go back and forth between orbit and the planet of Mars trying to build colonies to score the most victory points. Mines, mine energy. Energy builds water purifiers. Water grows plants. Plants produce oxygen. Oxygen lets you build more colonies for more people to settle the red planet. So uh, I'm sure I've said it before, but I'm a huge uh, Vita Lacerda fan. I did an unboxing for this. Uh, I will post a link and you can take a look at it, but I have it set up on the table for a two-player game. Why don't we head over there and check it out? Now, I'm not going to show you how to play the game because there are plenty other videos out there that show you how to play it that can do a way better job than I can. But I'll play through a few rounds. You can check out the game, see the board, see the components, and then I will uh, come back and let you know what I think. So let's head over to the table. Okay, so here we have uh, On Mars set up for a two-player game, yellow versus purple. Um, there is a solo mode to the game, but this helps me to teach other people how to play. So we're going to get started right now. Um, uh, purple goes first. I drew random tiles to assign the starting positions. So, um, let's start. Whew, there's a lot of choices to make. All right, do I want to, I, I can do that and upgrade my tech. Now it's the rocket phase, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happens. So, your miners and advanced buildings produce. I don't because this is moving now to over there. So, retrieve colonists from orbit and working from colony to orbit. From orbit, no, I have no, there's nothing in the orbit. A lot of choices because I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I do want to get these victory points though. I that. I can do that. Can I get a executive action? I can. I'm spending two crystals and I'm moving. I'm moving my box. I think I am going to stick, yellow's going to stick around, but purple is going to go to the colony. Yes, purple wants to go to the colony. Okay, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see, what are we doing now? Trying to find where to resupply. Let's keep keep on keeping on. All right, so uh, yellow goes first because they're number two still. All right, so that was a few rounds of uh, on Mars. I made a lot of mistakes with the yellow. I was planning out some weird things and it didn't seem to work out very well for the yellow player. Whereas purple was seemed to be off to a pretty good lead so far. We haven't moved up the LSS yet, but building a um, 
building, I guess, an oxygen generator and some plants would move that right up to level three, where I believe um, things start changing. The ship doesn't move back and forth so much. So let's uh, let's head back into the office and talk about it. All right. So that was On Mars by Vita Lacerda uh, and Eagle Griffin Games. Um, I have to say, I really like it. I made a ton of mistakes with the yellow player. Uh, I just, I, I really wasn't planning uh, my strategy very well. You have like three missions you need to complete and then you have your personal goals, but for some reason I, I, I wasn't paying attention to them and I was just like, oh, well, I'll do this action and I'll do this action and let me see how everything plays. Whereas when I was playing with the purple player, um, I had like a, a dedicated course I was trying to follow. Like I, I knew I had to do X, Y, and Z. I was trying to get certain things. I wanted to build, um, uh, uh what do they call it? Uh, I, I wanted the battery, um, the batteries. Oh my God. My names are terrible today, but I wanted to combine two of them, but I didn't have the technology for it and neither did my, neither did my opponent. So I had to put it somewhere else on the board. And then I got a free, uh, water, uh, purification center for collecting the tile. Um, it just seems that I was doing way better with uh, the purple player than I was with the yellow player. I definitely look forward to playing solo mode and checking it out to see how it holds up uh, with his other games. Right now, where it stands, I have to say that I still love Kanban as my absolute favorite. Uh, that one's really hard. It's very heavy. You need to really plan out your actions. I might say this is number two. I might put this a little above Lisboa. I mean, I love Lisboa. I think it's great, but um, uh, this is way easier to, to grasp the concept of where you have to put your um, your workers and what you have to do with your workers and the type of things you have to get. I mean, it seems very complex, and, and it is. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but everything made sense. Everything was very easy to follow. The Every mechanism was a very easy workflow to handle these actions, which I really liked. I'm going to go probably finish playing that game and see if I can uh, try to vindicate the yellow player from making stupid decisions like most of the game. I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe. You get notified whenever I upload some new videos. Any questions or comments, please post them below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.